Telia Company AB formerly is a Swedish dominant telephone company and mobile network operator present in Sweden, Finland, Norway, Denmark, Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia. The company has operations in other countries in Northern and Eastern Europe, and in Central Asia and South Asia, with a total of 182.1 million mobile customers Q1, 2013. It is headquartered in Stockholm and its stock is traded on the Stockholm Stock Exchange and on the Helsinki Stock Exchange. History Telia Company in its current form was first established as Teliasenera, as the result of a 2002 merger between the Swedish and Finnish telecommunications companies, Telia and Sonera. This merger followed shortly after Telia's failed merger attempt with Norwegian telecommunications company Telenor, now its chief competitor in the Nordic countries. Before privatization, Telia was a state telephone monopoly. Sonera on the other hand had a monopoly only on trunk network calls, while most c. of local telecommunication was provided by telephone cooperatives. The separate brand names Telia and Sonera have continued to be used in the Swedish and Finnish markets respectively. Of the stock, 37.3% is owned by the Swedish government, and the rest by institutions, companies, and private investors worldwide. The Finnish government through Solidium, had 3.2% of shares, but disposed them in February 2018. Telia The Swedish Kungal. Telegraviket literally, Royal Telegraph Agency was founded in 1853, when the first electric telegraph line was established between Stockholm and Uppsala. Allmanna Telefon found an equipment supplier in Lars Magnus Ericsson. In this early competition, Telegraviket with its brand Rikstelefon was a latecomer. However, by securing a national monopoly on long-distance telephone lines, it was able with time to control and take over the local networks of quickly growing private telephone companies. A de facto telephone monopoly position was reached around 1920, and never needed legal sanction. In 1953 the name was modernized to Televiket. On 1 July 1992 this huge government agency regulating functions was split off into the Swedish Post and Telecom Authority Swedish, Post och Telestilsen, PTS, with similar functions as the Federal Communications Commission of the United States. The operation of the state radio and TV broadcast network was spun off into a company named Terracom. On 1 July 1993 the remaining telephone and mobile network operator was transformed into a government-owned shareholding company, named Telia AB. At the height of the dot-com bubble, on 13 June 2000, close to one-third of Telia's shares were introduced on the Stockholm Stock Exchange. In the 1980s, Televiket was a pioneering mobile network operator with the NMT system, followed in the 1990s by GSM. Private competition in analog mobile phone systems had already broken the telephone monopoly, and the growing Internet allowed more opportunities for competitors. The most important of Telia's Swedish competitors in these areas has been Tele2. When PTS awarded four licenses for the third-generation mobile networks in December 2000, Telia was not among the winners, but later established an agreement to build a 3G network jointly with Tele2 using Tele2's license. SUNAB was founded as the jointly owned company that would in turn build, own and operate the joint 3G network. In December 2018, Telia in cooperation with Ericsson has launched the first 5G network at KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. Sonera The history of Sonera dates back to 1917, when Suomen Lenatinleitos Finnish Telegraph Agency was founded. In 1927, the Telegraph Agency was merged with the Finnish Post to form a new agency, Post and Telegraph Agency. This agency governed all long-distance and international calls until 1994, when competitors were allowed to enter the Finnish market. In the same year, the Post and Telegraph Agency was divided to form two companies, Suomen Posti Oy Finnish Post, and Telecom Finland Oy. Telecom Finland then changed its name to Sonera in 1998. <laughs> After merger During the run-up to the 2006 general election the Swedish Liberal Conservative Alliance stated as one of its policy aims to reduce government ownership in commercial entities, and specifically to sell its stake into Liasonera. 
The alliance went on to win the election and formed a coalition government. The sale of Taliesinera was however presented to the parliament only after the next election in 2010, when the alliance lost its majority but stayed on as a minority administration. On 16 March 2011 the alliance administration lost a parliamentary vote on sale of publicly owned commercial entities, including Taliesinera, when a coalition of all opposition parties, the Left Party, Social Democratic Party, Green Party and Sweden Democrats, united against the alliance. In the beginning of 2008, Taliesinera announced measures to save nearly 500 million euros which would include 2,900 redundancies, 2,000 from Sweden and 900 from Finland. France Telecom now Orange SA, proposed a €33 billion Euro acquisition offer for Taliesinera on 5 June 2008, which was promptly rejected by the company's board. On 20 July 2018, Telia Company announced the acquisition proposal of Bonnier Broadcasting Group from Bonnier Group for 9.2 billion Swedish krona, $1 billion, thus owning TV4AB, commercial television broadcaster in Sweden, MTV Oi, commercial television broadcaster in Finland, and Seymour Entertainment, Pan Nordic operator of premium television. Channels. The acquisition is expected to end in the second half of 2019, following regulatory approval. Taliesinera International Carrier AS1299 is a Tier 1 carrier. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Operations. Telia Company is now the largest Nordic and Baltic fixed voice, broadband, and mobile operator by revenue and customer base. It operates Europe's largest and fastest growing wholesale IP backbone AS1299 and is the 10th largest global mobile group by consolidated customers including ownership stakes in Turkcell, Yoigo, Megafon, Netcom and others. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Afghanistan. Telia Company is a 12.25% stakeholder of the Afghanistan Roshan Talco cell phone network. Denmark In Denmark Telia Company operates a mobile operator Telia, a mobile virtual network operator Call Me, and a broadband supplier Telia. The company started in 1995, the result of a merger between Telia Stover and Taliesinera. Telia Mobile is the third largest operator and is in fierce competition with Telenor, which is number two in the market. Telia was the fourth operator to launch 3G services and is the only operator to have a nationwide edge network. Telia Broadband was relaunched in 2008 because of the need for Taliesinera to offer both mobile and broadband in all of their home markets Sweden, Norway, Denmark and Finland. Telia Broadband was the first operator to launch digital TV with their broadband at no extra cost. Stover is mainly a cable TV operator, but also supplies broadband via the cable TV network. Estonia Telia Company owns 100% of ST Telecom. ST Telecom is one of the largest telecommunication companies in the Baltic countries and the largest telecommunications company in Estonia. Taliesinera and the Estonian government reached a deal over the sale of ST Telecom in September 2009. On 20 January 2016, ST Telecom switched its name to Telia ST. Finland Telia is the second largest mobile operator in Finland and also one of the biggest providers of landline telephone and internet services. Before the rebranding on 23 March 2017, Telia was known in Finland under the brands of Sonera and TeleFinland. In September 1999, Sonera became the world's first mobile operator to launch information services via wireless application protocol WAP. Topic. Kazakhstan Telia Company operates in Kazakhstan under the brand KSL. Topic. Latvia Taliesinera owns 49% of LMT 24.5% as Taliesinera AB and 24.5% as Sonera Holding BV. Taliesinera also owns 49% of Latelecom, which owns 23% of LMT, which owns Ocart, Amigo. 
It also owns 100% of Telia Latvija, a business cable operator and data center operator. Topic: <laughs> Lithuania. Teliasenera owns 88.15% of TOLT, the largest landline phone operator in Lithuania, which recently purchased Omnitel, one of largest mobile network operators there. It was previously owned by Teliasenera Group. In October 2015, Teliasenera announced the merger of Teo and Omnitel, through the acquisition of Omnitel by Teo. In February 1, 2017, Omnitel and Teo merged under the name of Telia Litova. Moldova Teliasenera owns a 74.3% see-through stake of the Moldovan mobile operator Moldcell through Fintur Holdings. Norway In Norway Telia first entered after the deregulation in 1998 as a virtual supplier of fixed telephone and internet services. This was sold to Enitel during the merger attempt with Telenor, but Telia re-entered in 2000 with the purchase of one of the two mobile network operators, Netcom. In 2006 it also bought the virtual mobile provider Chess Communication. 1 March 2016, Netcom was rebranded as Telia Norge. <laughs> Sweden In Sweden, Teliasenera operates under the consumer brands Telia and Hailbop. On the business side, Scanova Access and Sigate are also used. Main competitors include Tele2, Telenor, 3Comhem, Boxer and C+. Turkey Teliasenera owns 38% of Turkcell, the leading mobile operator in Turkey. Turkcell owns 80% of Best in Belarus and 100% of Astolid in Ukraine. <inaudible> Uzbekistan In five years, Ucell, the Uzbek subsidiary, increased the number of its subscribers from 400,000 to 9 million Teliasenera is under preliminary investigation by Swedish prosecutors for allegations of bribery and money laundering associated with the acquisition of their 3G license in Uzbekistan from Taklant Limited, registered in Gibraltar. Under these investigations involving four Uzbek nationals, hundreds of millions of francs have been frozen in Swiss banks. Topic: <laughs> Former operations. Telia has recently been selling off their shares in companies they own that isn't in their main region of business. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Azerbaijan. On the 15th of May 2010, after Azercell went through rebranding, it joined the network of Teliasenera. On the 5th of March 2018, Telia confirmed they have sold their stake in Azercell. Cambodia Teliasenera purchased a majority stake in Star Cell in 2008 which was the number four player in the market at that time. By 2010 it exited Cambodia after a $100 million write-down and collapse in subscriber numbers. It was subsequently taken over by a more dominant competitor Smart Mobile. Georgia. In 2007 to 2018, Telia Company has owned 58.55% of the Geocell Company, while Turkcell owns the remaining 41.45%. Since 2018, Silknet bought full part of Geocell. Topic: <laughs> Nepal. Teliasenera owned a majority stake in NCEL, the largest mobile operator in Nepal with US$16.2 billion operating income. On 21 December 2015, Teliasenera announced its exit from NCEL, selling its 60.4% of the shares to Malaysian telecommunications group Axiata. Teliasenera exited Nepal without settling billions of capital gains tax owed to Nepalese government.
Topic: <inaudible> Russia. Telia Company own 25.2% of Megaphone, the second largest mobile phone operator in Russia. In October 2017, Telia Company agreed to sell their entire Megaphone stake for 1 billion United States dollars. Topic: Spain. Telia Company owned a 76.6% holding in the Spanish operator Yoigo until the 21st of June 2016 when it was sold to Masmovil. Topic: Tajikistan. Telia Company owned 60% of mobile phone operator Tcel. Tcel is a merger of Somoncom and Indigo Tajikistan. The merger was completed in July 2012. On the 27th of April 2017, it was confirmed that Tcel has been sold. Topic: <laughs> Evolution of the Telia brand. When Telia and Sonera merged in 2002, Telia Sonera used a simple word mark as the logo. In 2011, Telia Sonera released its new purple pebble logo to the corporation and its affiliate brands. The pebble was designed by Landor Associates. In 2016, Telia Sonera presented an updated pebble brand profile, designed by Wolf Ollens, to be used by all Telia brand companies. Controversies <inaudible> 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 Talia Sonera has been accused of indirectly supporting dictatorships, allowing them to do man-in-the-middle attacks on their citizens. This was disclosed in the Swedish TV show Updrag Gransning in 2012. Talia Sonera responded to these allegations with, "...this is happening every day in all countries and applies to all operators. We are obliged to comply with the legislation of each country." Further allegations have been presented in Swedish media and elsewhere that Telia may have illegally, through bribery, acquired licenses in Uzbekistan and Azerbaijan. As a result of internal investigations on these and other potential violations to the company's policies, several senior managers have been dismissed from the company. Talia Sonera exited Nepal evading approximately 36 billions of Nepalese rupees capital gains tax owed to Nepalese government, when it sold its stake to Axiata, a Malaysian telecom group. In that context, Telia was criticized by media TV, even in Sweden where its headquarter is located. Also, a group of Nepalese people started a movement no tax. No to boycott services of NCEL in Nepal. See also List of Finnish companies List of Swedish companies Scanova Telia Carrier